Yo, listen, you ever needed a photographer, a videographer, you just need somebody with a camera that knows what they're doing. We want more.com. Check it out, son. We got brand new photos up on there. We got bookings. We got even news outlets. It tells you what's going on in the world of We Want More. We want more.com. Check it out. I don't think I've grown accustomed to how we start these videos, so. Yeah. What's going on? What's cracking with you? What's guanin' in the morning? It's your boy Shamar Moore, aka We Want More, bro. Now today, guys. Um, now of course, I've I've been looking, I've been viewing, and I'm, I realized that a lot. I have like a whole bunch of questions about John Jay that I was not anticipating. Um, specifically in the last video that I dropped, the ins and outs of John Jay, I had a bunch of questions for me. So I made, I'm making this video because I specifically wrote in the comments that if y'all want me to do a part two, and you know what I'm saying, and y'all wanted one. So without further ado, I'm gonna answer most of the questions that you guys sent me. Uh, what we're gonna touch bases on is basically tuition. We're gonna touch on dorming, and we're gonna touch on how to get in. All right. But before we even start this video, I need you guys to subscribe automatically, automatically. Just by me doing all of this right now. First of all, we got the light in the back right there. You see it. Second of all, we got the little candle in the back. I don't know if y'all can't really see it because the sun is really out, but you see the candle. You see it. Look at my finger. It's a subscribe with the post notification bell. You just got to click it so that way you never, ever miss content from me. All right. I'm not going to waste so much of y'all time because I know y'all y'all really want this juicy information. All right. Because I know a lot of y'all want to go to John Jay. And with all that being said, we're going to touch first on how to get in. Cause that's the biggest point now a lot of people have been asking me like yo what is the requirements how do you get in how is it what is the process like what's the timetables all right and that all depends on you john jay is basically like any other high school college or graduate school basically the earlier you put in your application the you know what i'm saying like you probably get an easier chance of not only making it in but also getting the acceptance letter early than most. It all depends on when you put it in. So when you start your senior year of high school, right? I'm pretty sure your guidance counselors are coming to you asking you like, you know, what colleges are you thinking of? How was your grades in junior year? So on and so forth, okay? So it's not like in junior high school when they come up with that little piece of paper and you have to write down like 12 high schools that you wanna to go to. It's more so on you now. You basically go online and you put in the application. They're gonna ask for your transcript for your junior year of high school. And they're also going to ask for your SAT scores. Now, of course, with the whole pandemic going on, why is the light going down? My apologies if my light is going crazy. But with the pandemic, I'm pretty sure they're eliminating the SAT scores just because, you know, SAT testing has been like canceled or other things have been going on to where people can't take the test. So I'm pretty sure they're a little lenient when it comes to the SAT scores. But typically, pre pandemic, it was the SAT scores and your transcript from high school. Now, as far as what they want, what's the requirements, um, I don't know if it's changed, but back in 2015 or 2014, when I was like applying to go to John Jay, it was at least a 75 average. And your SAT scores had to be at least like a thousand or 1100. Now I just got mad yellow. The SAT scores in the, in the transcript, you had to show at least like, you know, you're a good student. They're not asking for above and beyond because they're not really like an Ivy League school. But at the same time, they do want to see like 75 average for the most part. That's usually like a B minus C plus. That's usually around that time because I know some schools don't really do like the number average. They do more for letter average. They're really looking for that. But that's just like the basic to get you in. If you really want to make sure you get in, you really want to aim for like B's and up or like 80s and 85s. And your SAT scores need to be at least like a 12. 50 maybe like a 1300 and above for my kids right now who are like worrying about the sats i don't think you really have to worry because of the pandemic but for anybody in the future who's watching this and the sats somehow come back up again and john jay wants that sat scores i wouldn't say go too hard on the sat scores but make sure that you you're really solid when it comes to like your school work and your education because again it's not really that kind of school that just accepts everybody they really want the best of the best all right now that we touch bases on how to get in for those that are in or for those that already got accepted first of all congratulations shout out to you yes yes good job good job hopefully it's the dream school that you wanted to get into but now we are talking about tuition how are you going to pay for it john jay's tuition is really not that bad compared to most colleges most colleges are probably going to cost you like like 30 40 grand a year john jay because it's a cuny school cuny schools are usually like less um it's on a downward trend when it comes to tuition um i'm pretty sure it's gonna get raised over time just because you know as new york state grows and population and you know work 
and money so does the college tuition but when i was going the tuition was around 11 to twelve thousand dollars a year now luckily for me i got financial aid and i was also accepted into the seek um, program which is basically helping kids who have parents that don't make enough money to send them to college but their grades exceed expectations for that parents you know lack of income so i got really lucky i don't know to be honest with you i really don't know how i got in um, but because I was in that as well as financial aid taking me and really paying for most, if not all of my tuition, um, I ended up graduating college with no debt. That's, that's, I would say that's like a really big accomplishment considering most people that I'm around or most people that I know usually have like tens of thousands of dollars in debt just based off of going to college. I would say for those kids who are worried about tuition, um, apply to as many scholarships as you can, try to get as many grants as you can and apply for financial aid. If it so happens that your parents make way over the limit that financial aid requires um, to be qualified, then of course look into scholarships. And even if you don't get into any scholarships, look for grants. If you have to do loans, loans should be your last option. But if you have to do loans, try to get a minimum and try to find something else. Um, maybe you wanna work full time and start paying off college little by little. I know people who have done that as well. But moral of the story is, if you really want to go to John Jay, John Jay, the one great thing I can say is that it's a great school at an affordable cost. So if you really think about it, for most people that's paying like 30, 40 grand a year for one year, mind you, college is four years, right? Most people are paying like $100,000 if they got to take out loans for everything. For you to go to John Jay, even if you had to take out loans for everything, you're only paying like 40,000 at the end of your whole career, which I'm not saying $40,000 is cheap now. Of course, that's still a lot, but compared to other colleges that you know you may be thinking about if you're looking at cost or if cost is one of the big things for you then john jay is really great at cost value um compared to you know what kind of education they give you even if cost is a point for you but it may not be the biggest point you also got to think that the name that john jay carries alone in new york sets you off for many great things um especially for people who want to be lawyers uh police officers anywhere in the law enforcement field um, John Jay, like when you hear John Jay, it's like the, probably the number one school for criminal justice, just in New York period, maybe even in the whole United States. I may be wrong, but when it comes to like the criminal justice system, John Jay, especially in New York is like really excellent. Think about that when you're like picking out colleges too. I'm not trying to persuade you to choose John Jay, but if you, if you needed some, you know, persuasion, you could add that into your reservoir. And finally, we're going to talk about dorming. Um, I've gotten a, a couple questions from people who asked me uh, who are out of state and people who are in state, um, like what dorming is like if they have a dorm on John Jay's campus. Um, currently, John Jay doesn't have a campus on their campus. The campus or the actual school is on West 59th Street or West 60th Street to some people. That's like the main building. There is no campus on there. Their campuses or their dorm rooms are on 34th Street which is called the New Yorker. Um, I've actually never applied for it just cause I live in New York and it really wasn't a long commute for me. Um, so I never felt the need to add on that debt. Um, but for some people who are out of state who need a place to stay, John Jay offers you dorms, you become their priority. For people who are coming out of state who can't travel back home every single time and they need a place to stay, obviously we all know New York is expensive when it comes to apartments and whatnot. So John Jay makes you guys the priority outside of seniors, who are about to graduate so besides seniors you guys become the main priority just because you know you guys don't have no place to stay um now as far as staying the whole year last time i remember you have to ask the bursar office or you have to ask um you have to go to john j stop which is located like in the back of the new building and you basically have to ask them like a request to stay past the academic year um just because you know they like to clean house well not clean house but after every semester and this happens at every college like you have to either go back home or you have to actually stay during like the breaks, which is a winter break and a summer break. If you have classes during those times, it's even better for you. Um, Cause that gives you a better reason as to why you need to stay in the dorms. But of course, because you have nowhere else to go, cause you know, you came out of state. That's a pretty good reason too. Keep in mind though, you're not guaranteed to stay because remember there's a, there's thousands of other kids that's going to college with you. And I'm pretty sure they're all applying, if, but most of them are applying for dorms as well. So keep in mind that you're not always guaranteed to stay there. So I would say if you don't like the pressure of not being guaranteed a place, I would say to get a small apartment in New York if John Jay is really the place for you. But if you feel like you'll be able to stay all four years in a dorm and be okay, 
then definitely um, consider the dorm rooms. I don't think it's that expensive. I'm pretty sure I forgot the price, but I searched it up. It's not that expensive compared to your tuition. It's not included in the tuition either. So don't assume that that $11,000, $12,000 a year is part of the dorm. No, if you apply for a dorm and you get it, they add whatever price that dorm is on top of the $11,000. Um, dollar tuition if you would like to dorm you can if you decide to get an apartment um, Though it is safer to get an apartment It's it costs more because when you dorm you're paying one flat rate and you stay there for the entire Like four or five months of that academic year plus the winter break if you decide to stay or summer break But getting an apartment you got to pay rent every month. So it's really up to you. It's kind of What works best for you? There's still both options for you in terms of dorming um, and staying over. Now I also got another question quick before I go. Um, somebody asked me if you could choose your roommates in college, you actually cannot. The only time you can choose um, what happens to your room is when you become, I believe, a junior. That's the only time you can really apply for like a single room, which costs more than having like two roommates or one roommate. But as far as like choosing who you wanna stay with, you can't. Um, they kinda assign you who you're gonna be with. If you don't like that person, you can like file a complaint or file to switch roommates. But as far as picking a specific person, you cannot, that's impossible. And I think that's all the questions that I really got from John Jay. But in the end, I don't want anybody to be worried. I don't want anybody to be discouraged. It's not really a hard school to get into. It's just, you're competing with thousands of other kids. So just try to do your best, be your best. You know what I'm saying? When you write your personal statements to John Jay, make sure to make, make sure it's strong. And yeah, just, you know, good luck to everybody that's applying. Um, to go into the fall of 2021 or even the spring of 2020. Yeah, spring of 2021, I'm sorry. Good luck to everybody trying to get in. Um, I hope you guys do. Um, I see all the comments. I try to respond as much as I can, but you guys can keep responding or keep commenting. But until then, guys, of course, I'm out of here. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to comment, uh, make sure to subscribe and press that notification bell so you can get more content similar to this. But until then, guys, I'm out of here. Love all.